Good morning, Mary C. William friends. It is Monday the 11th. I hope you all are doing well. Um, we are going to be going over our new lesson. I'm going to start here on my paper and then we're going to head over to my whiteboard to finish out. But I wanted to go over the top um, part with you with for writing fractions as sums. So we're going to be starting um, learning about decomposing. Um, and when you are decomposing something, that means that you are taking something and breaking it apart. So, I'm going to write that down. Decompose, break apart. So, that is really important for you to know um, moving forward with what we are going to be learning. So we're on lesson 56, um, page 111, and we are going to be decomposing fractions, and we're going to be writing the sum of a fraction. And remember, the sum is the addition. I mean, using addition. All right, so a unit fraction tells the part of a whole that one piece represents. A unit fraction always has a number of one. So if we're looking at unit fraction, a unit fraction, um, in this case, we're looking at the unit fraction of one tenth. So any number with one in the numerator is a unit fraction. All right, so let's keep going. Brian has four tenth pound of clay for making clay figures. He wants to use one tenth pound of clay for each figure. How many clay figures can he make? Use fraction strips to write four tenths as a sum of unit fractions. So we need to, what they're asking us to do is take a unit fraction and add them all up to equal four tenths. So it says step one, represent four tenths with fraction strips. So they have a fraction um, whole, just kind of to show you where it would fall. And we have one, two, three, four tenths right here. So we have four tenths, okay? And so after that, um, it says that two, each one tenth is a unit fraction. So remember, a unit fraction is a number with one in the numerator. Well, we have one in the numerator, so one tenth is a unit fraction. It says write a one tenth add in of each one tenth strip you use to show four tenths. So, how many one tenths make four tenths? Four, right? One tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth equals four tenths. And that's how you add fractions. You always add the top number and not the bottom. The denominator always stays the same when adding fractions, but the top number um, is the one that you're adding. All right, so let's keep going. Step three, count the number of add-ins. The number of add-ins represents the number of clay figures Brian can make. So we have one, two, three, four. So how many one-tenths can he um, make? He can make four. So Brian can make four clay figures because each clay figure represents one tenth and he has one, two, three, four, one tenth. So he can make four clay figures. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to head over to my whiteboard and we're going to do number one together. You are going to be responsible for two, three, and four. All right, so now we're on to my whiteboard and we are looking at number one. We're, we are still on page 111. So we're looking at write fractions as sums. And remember, I call this decomposing. We're taking a number and we're decomposing it. We are um, taking three six here and we're breaking it apart into smaller fractions, okay? So let's look here. Um, so number one, it has our whole fraction bar again, and then it has 3 6. Now, 3 6, again, we're breaking it up into a unit fraction. So, our unit fraction for 3 6, we're looking at 6, so it's going to be 1 6. 
So what they did is they broke up our fraction, our 3 6 into 1 6, 1 6, and 1 6 because 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 is 3 6. When you have um, 1 6 and 1 6, it would be 2 6 and so on and so forth. So that's why we have 3 1 6. So it's asking us what plus what plus what equals 3 6. Well, our model right here tells us. 3 6 equals 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6. Because remember, when we are adding, we do not change the denominator. The denominator always stays the same, and that is something that is very important for you to understand. When you are adding or subtracting a fraction, do not change that denominator. So, in this case, 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 is us decomposing 3 6. So 3 6 is equal to 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6. All right, I hope this helps. Go ahead, do 2, 3, and 4 on your own, and Miss Britt will see you tomorrow with her lesson. Have a wonderful Monday. Miss you all so much. Bye.